first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. After the chill that arrived this weekend, at least today will be a warmer start and even into tomorrow before a cold front moves on through, bringing in a little cool down, not as cold as what we had yesterday, but a little cool down for the middle of the week. A lot of portion of the week and into the weekend, we get some warm air back in place for us. High pressure and control will take that early morning chill, bring us back into the 60s this afternoon. We'll hold those 60s for your Tuesday, despite seeing the slight chance for a few showers and more clouds as that cold front comes through. It'll pass by late Tuesday night to early Wednesday morning. And as we go into your Wednesday afternoon, high pressure building in will supply a little bit of that chilly weather back to the forecast. Again, not as cold as yesterday, but we're going to be seeing more 50s for the forecast highs for Wednesday afternoon versus the 60s that'll be out there today and tomorrow. Through the afternoon for your Monday, plenty of sunshine in the forecast. The clouds will start to increase a little bit as we head overnight into early Tuesday morning, especially for the inland areas as skies become partly cloudy closer toward daybreak. By the afternoon, mostly cloudy skies will be around the chance for showers increasing as we go through the afternoon up to about a 30% chance. So not a widespread rain event, mainly light showers uh, in the forecast and through Tuesday evening, and then we'll dry out and clear out as we head toward daybreak on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, sunny skies are back in the forecast, but with that sunshine, the breeze will be picking up as that cooler air pushes into the area. So today, mostly sunny skies out there through the afternoon, hitting 63 in Merle's Inlet, Surfside, Myrtle Beach, and North Myrtle Beach, up to 64 in Carolina Forest, Conway, and Loris. Andrews and Georgetown climbing to 65 right along with Lake City and Johnsonville. Florence, you'll see a high today of 64. Darlington and Bennettsville at 63, and Rockingham at 60 degrees. Your Grand Strand seven-day forecast, still looking for the mid-60s tomorrow before the cooler air arrives. Upper 50s, though, for your highs Wednesday and Thursday, not unbearably cold. A little breezy, but not anything compared to yesterday where we struggled to get to the low 50s and we had those wake up temps in the 20s. We will see the temps back in the 30s for those wake up numbers on Thursday and Friday, but it looks like most locations will stay above freezing and we'll even see the mid 60s returning for highs as we head into your upcoming weekend. And once we get past the rain chances tomorrow, we're dry for the end of the weekend through the weekend. So a good looking extended forecast. Just be prepared for the cooler weather Wednesday and Thursday. As you can see where we struggle to hit 60 degrees for the inland areas and those wake up temps on Thursday and Friday morning are creeping closer and closer to that freezing mark, but staying just above with a low of 34. And then getting into the weekend, highs in the mid to upper 60s, a good looking weekend forecast despite some extra clouds and those wake up temps certainly returning from those upper 30s into the low 40s. Your 2013 weather calendars are available to order. They won't be available to pick up until uh, about a week from now. But uh, nonetheless, you can always go to your website, carolinalive.com. Click that icon on the home page, the bottom right hand corner you see there, and that'll actually give you the directions on how you can go ahead and place your order to uh, those 2013 weather calendars. So uh, make sure you go ahead and place those orders today on this Cyber Monday. Have yourself a fantastic Monday. Your latest news and weather updates are always available right there on your website, carolinalive.com. Have a good one.